Hey everybody, in this video I'd like to show you how to use Google Earth Studio to create a video that you can use outside of Google Earth Studio. So basically taking uh, Google Earth Studio footage and putting it into Final Cut Pro so that you can use it in PowerPoint presentations or Keynote or YouTube or whatever it is it, that you want to do with your video. For at Google Earth Studio and you start with a blank project, let's go ahead and just do a quick start here. Let's choose one of these projects. We'll just choose a Zoom 2. I'm going to click Start. And let's say I want to do Cashmere, Washington, which happens to be the land of milk and honey in the United States of America. And sure, let's start at this altitude. And so you do a nice, beautiful Zoom to Cashmere. OK. And it takes five seconds. All right. And then so we click the yeah, 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 yeah. Let's render this. Okay. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. And we're going to call this cashmere. Okay. And start. So it's going to take a little while to render, and we're just going to wait. So when your file's done rendering, you save it as a bunch of jpegs so let's go over to final cut pro and let's make a new project by going file new project let's call it zoom to cashmere you can put it whatever event you'd like and if i go over to my finder and i go to where that zip file so Earth Studio makes a zip file, which is a bunch of JPEGs. I'm going to open that up. You can see in here there's a bunch of individual images. So I'm going to select all of these and drag them in to my project here in Final Cut Pro. Now I'm going to drop them in there and I'm going to just go ahead and say, sure, all of this is good and click OK. But I've now got a 12 minute video when really it's not nearly that long. So I'm going to come in here and say Control or Command A or Control A to select all. I'm then going to hit Control D to say I want to mess with the duration. I'm going to set everything to 1. See what happened here? It, and then I hit return or enter. That shrinks everything. And now let's see what happens when I hit play. It actually plays at a nice little frame rate to zoom me in in six seconds instead of 12 minutes. And that's it. I'll do it again for you really quickly. I'm going to delete all that. So, um, so another way I can do it is I can go file, import, media, and then go find all that media. Now, I happen to know that I've got it in my downloads. So I go to my downloads folder. There it is in cashmere footage. I'm gonna, oh boy, it's out of order here. Let's see what happens when I grab it. I'm gonna grab all this and say, yep, let's import that. Looks like it's in order again. I'm gonna grab all that and drag and drop it in here. Looks like it put it in the right order. I'm gonna say, okay, here. All right, so everything's in here now in the timeline, but it's way too long. I think it's like four, no, it's like 10 seconds per JPEG image, which is way too long. So I'm gonna select all, which is actually has already happened here, you can see. And then I'm gonna hit Control D for duration. I'm gonna change instead of 10 seconds to one second. Look, I hit the number one, look what happens here. I hit return or enter on my keyboard, it chops everything down to that one frame, and look at this, we've got the perfect six second fly-in. Okay. And that's how you take something from Google Earth Studio and bring it into Final Cut Pro.